we are going to put together all of our skills, know-how, and definitions in one more example. And it's a very important example because it involves two-way tables. Now, what is a two-way table? Well, you can kind of see it as we look through it. A two-way table is a table that has rows and column variables for a particular data set. This following data set is the new active duty military recruits in 2018 by military service and race ethnicity. It's also called a contingency table. And by the way, yes, these are real data. You're welcome to ask me for the source or email me if you want to know. Um, so it's available publicly. So we have the different race ethnicities right here, and we have the different military services, the four main branches of military service. And some of these are abbreviated. Uh, AIAN is American Indian Alaskan Native. NHPI is Native Hawaiian or Pacific Islander. All right, so the column variable is the columns, which in this case is race, ethnicity, the row variable is military service. Now I found the totals for us because I knew this would just be a pain, but keep in mind what's happening here. We're adding up the whole row of army and that gets us this total right here. Then the whole row of navy, that gets us this total and so on. And similarly, we're adding up the whole row of white that gets us here and so on. Okay. So how many were recruited to all together is 163,582 individuals in 2018. Are any of the race and ethnicities unusual among active duty military recruits? Oh, interesting. Okay, well, to figure that out, we would have to figure out what the probabilities of these values are. So we can probably guess that white, Hispanic, black are probably not. We're looking for the smaller ones because we want to see if they're less than 5%. Remember that unusual means less than 5% or 0 0.05, 0 0.05. So we want to grab a calculator and we want to figure out what the values are here. So let me start with um, AIAN, which I imagine is probably unusual. I mean, just for fun, I can grab a big one. So I could grab 24801, oh, sorry, 28401, which was black, and divide that by 163582, which is the grand total. Yeah, see, well over 5%. What about the other, 7467? Divide that by 163582. That, that's unusual. Okay, so once I know that one's unusual, I know all the other ones must also be unusual because they're all smaller numbers than 7467. So 6344 divided by 163582, less than 5%. Less than 5%. So the indeed, are any of the race ethnicities unusual? Yes. So we would say AIAN, Asian, oops, I was about to spell it backwards, Asian, uh, NHPI, Native Hawaiian Pacific Islander, and other are all unusual because they all have less than 5% probability. All right, you're going to select a single active duty military personnel recruit at random. What is the probability that they were recruited for the Air Force? Hmm. Okay, probability they were recruited for the Air Force. Air Force is right here. So there were 30,001. I just spelled it wrong, 30,001, there we go divided by 163582, because that's the total. So this will be the probability of Air Force. Right? So it's the total for the Air Force divided by the total, total, right? So that would be, well, I have no idea, but I can grab a calculator. And again, if you'd like, you can use Dasmos. Either one will work. We divide by 163582, and we get point 
1834. Oh, I went four decimal places instead of three. Oh, well, too late now. <laughs> All right, so that's the probability of Air Force. And then they want the probability of black. We actually already found this, which is 28,401. I almost did it backwards again. 28,401 divided by 163,582 which is on my calculator still. I might have to go up a bit to find it. There it is. So if I grab it again, I can press enter and rerun it. It's 0 0.1736. I guess I might as well change it to four decimal places since that's what I did for both of them. <laughs> might as well get used to it. All right, now we're going to keep using this table, but to answer more questions. We have so many questions to answer that we have to split it amongst two pages. So, so much to learn. All right, you're going to select a single active duty military personnel recruit at random. So still one person you're going to draw. What is the probability that it recruited for the Army or the Navy? Ah, okay. Well, notice Army and Navy are disjoint. You can't be recruited for both. <laughs> Right? You can like both of them, but you can't be recruited for both of them. So that means that if we want the probability of Army or Navy, we're going to have to add. Right? So we're going to use rule number one, where we just add the probabilities. Right? When they're disjoint events, if you want the probability of one or the other, you add them up. Rule number one. So I'm going to find the probability of, let me write this out, the probability of Army or Navy is the probability of Army plus the probability of Navy. We just add them. Army was uh, 63,519 plus Navy was 38,752. And since they have the same denominator, I just have to add the two numerators together and I'm golden. So let me see here. 63519 plus 38752 gets me 102,271. Now if I just hit division, it'll take that last answer, which was 120. 102,271, there it is. And I divide by 163592. If I could type it right, there we go. Oh my goodness, it's 163582. Whoops, I, I misread my own numbers, so it's 8 there. Oops, sorry. All right, well, how am I going to fix that? Well, I can just type it. One, 102,000 over here. 271 divided by 163582. My mistake. So it's 0.6252 if we go to four decimal places. I think I'm going to be sticking with this four decimal places thing, so I might as well get used to it. There you can see it. So sorry, those were eights down there. 163,582. All right, now what about black or Hispanic? Well, again, you're either counting into this category or you count into this category, right? So you're going to add the two of them up. They're, they're considered disjoint. If you're thinking, what about um, people that would check both boxes? That actually goes into the other category um, that is accounted for. So as far as the military is concerned, these are disjoint categories. So that means, again, we're going to be using rule number one. We're just going to add them up. So I'm going to take the probability of black or Hispanic. And to save myself some space, I'm going to abbreviate here to B plus the probability of H, which is now for black, it was 28,401. There you go. Plus, and then Hispanic was 32,000. 670. And so I need to add those two numerators together, again with a calculator. So 28401 plus 32, 
32670. And we get 61071. If we divide that by 163582, let's see if I can get it correctly this time, we get 0.3733. Now keep in mind, these fractions right here are also valid probabilities, but it asked for it in four decimal places. So therefore, it's the decimal ones that we're looking for on this particular problem. But technically, the fractions are also just as valid.